Hello, welcome back. We're in the art studio today and I'm going to take a few moments to tell you about a really clever painting by Ray Crook. People know Ray Crook um, almost as if he's like the Gorgon of Australian art. In, in a way he is because he spent a large part of his life living in northern Queensland and also in the surrounding islands he would go out there to paint as well. And I, when I was a kid I, was, I grew up in Papua New Guinea and I really relate to these pictures because they have a really lovely tropical feel about them. Ray Crook was actually from Melbourne and he went um, into the army and when, when he was being demobilised, they were demobilised into, into tropical North Queensland. And he just fell in love with the area and decided that he would definitely be coming back. So he went back to Melbourne, finished his art studies at Swinburne and then as soon as he could, he hightailed it back up to North Queensland where he then spent most of his life painting. And what, he's just so clever with um, Carla Ray Crook. And when people look at his pictures, they probably think they're quite simple. But no, they aren't really, because Ray Crook has put a huge amount of thought into the actual composition um, of his pictures. And he was a big follower of the classical technique of the golden mean. And that's where um, certain sections of the painting are divided up to create geometric harmony. And you can see it in, in certain passages of this picture, which I'll point out. So you can see here, there's a band here that runs through here, cutting that into a section along the bottom. And then we've got another band here across the edges of the grass that runs through here. And then of course, up the top here, we've got, um, you know, mountains and the sky. And even though the, you know, the picture space is sort of contained, he's actually managed to put into this picture some really, really lovely depth. And it's like the painting has sort of got three parts to it. We've got a figure study here. We've got still life happening here, and that's a really beautiful still life component here in the painting. And then he takes our eye out um, beyond the window and out into the background. And then still we travel even further and go forwards to the mountains and the trees and then the sky. So that's really amazing that he's thought about all of that and put that all together in one really vibrant, beautiful picture. Another technique that he uses is silhouette, and you can see that here where the figure is sort of set against a dark background, but it also uh, makes our eye travel out to look at other things beyond the immediate um, foreground. It just makes it really, really interesting, and you have a really beautiful interaction with the painting. Now, um, a lot of people say to me, why does Ray Crook not put a lot of detail into the faces? And you can see here it's very simple, and um, virtually there's no sort of... Um, you know, extraneous detail here with noses or eyes and these other figures. And what his reasoning for that was that he wanted to convey this sort of simplicity and the relaxed nature of what it was to live in a tropical um, hot place where it's a bit more relaxed, the way of life's a bit slower. And he wasn't really interested um, in creating, you know, really detailed like portraiture style faces in these particular works because he's more um, wanting to convey the feeling of what it is to be in a tropical place. Ironically though, he did actually win the Archibald Prize um, earlier in his life, which is an interesting thing. And um, the portrait was actually really fantastic and very detailed, so very, very good painter. Now, Ray Crook died in 2015 and um, his paintings have been collected for many years um, by um, astute collectors. And this is a really, really beautiful quality um, work by Ray Crook. Um, I just love the detail in it. I love all the complexity of the components. I love the balance of the composition. And I love the colour. Thanks for listening.